Nice. So in summary, cool. what? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. So your call um, got a bunch of questions in the queue, which is going to circle us about back to some of the top stuff. Um, you want to do your summary first, and then come back to the questions. Let's just quickly run through this to make sure we don't run out of time. Um, in conclusion, multi-tenant, you've got to do it. If any of you have been have a trouble motivating the conversion to multi-tenant with your clients so far, send them to us. We'll persuade them. You've got to do it. And it really is mature technology now. The refreshable cloning capability, particularly either with SE2 or if you're using Enterprise Edition but have not licensed the full multi-tenant capability, this refreshable clone capability may well give you the ammunition you need to motivate the conversion. That wonderful capability, the minimal data loss, offloading queries, and my personal favorite, minimal downtime for migrations. Dave. Very well, thanks, John. Okay, so um, if you have the database enabled and tell our man to back up the archive log, delete the input, our man is smart enough to not delete the logs if they are still needed by DataGuard. Is our man smart enough to do that with this? Not that. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, you'd have to control that manually. Uh, you could, there would be ways around. You could tell our man not to delete anything, have a deletion policy. It isn't DataGuard. And the archive log deletion policy that's being referred to in the question is really DataGuard related. You would have to set a deletion policy of backed up twice to disk or something to make sure that they were still available. Right. Uh, so this was a timing question. I uh, kind of missed the, the timing on this. You might have to give me more, Michael. If the database is open, will refresh occur or just not occur? Refresh simply does not occur. Um, the refresh is only possible when the PDB is, remember the database itself is open, of course, the CDB is open, but the PDB cannot be refreshed if the PDB is open. It's got to be in mount mode. Can you open the clone database in read write mode? You can, but the moment you open it in read write mode, you will no longer be able to refresh it. Um, by analogy, you can think of there being a reset log. So there isn't, of course, because it's a PDB. You might, if you use the PDB flashback capability, which would require Enterprise Edition, you could bring it back to a state from which it could be refreshed. John, there was an error in the alert log. Can you point that out? Tell us what that was. Let's see, um, this one here, PDB not brings us back to the previous question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was the scheduled refresh being attempted, and because the PDB had been opened read only, the scheduled refresh failed. Good. Uh, I think you just answered this before. How do you refresh after you open the clone read write? It ain't gonna work. Right. Uh, release question, John. Is it only from 19.x up? This functionality appeared in, if I remember correctly, 12.2. And remember, 19 is nothing other than 12.203. 12 so 12.2, so all of the marketing terms, 12 to 18 or 19, this should be there. I didn't test it thoroughly in earlier releases though, but it does seem to be rock solid reliable in 19. I can't speak to it for earlier releases. Bear with me a sec, John, please. Just answered that. We've got the error in the log. Uh, can you share some ideas on what might be the background processes that are involved or responsible for this, depending on your point of view? 
No, I can't. I have not managed to reverse engineer this completely by any means. What I can say it is definitely not the data guard capability. There's no managed recovery process. You know, we are not shipping redo through log archive desk parameters. You know, we don't have any of the data guard type processes. It appears to me that the recovery is being done by a standard server process. Okay. Uh, would, yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, thinking about cloud, uh, how about using this uh, on-premise to cloud? I, I assume, Michael, where your your uh, your PDB is in the cloud. Um, you. It would depend whose cloud. If it's the Oracle cloud, OCI you would have a problem because you couldn't create a PDB. Uh, if it were some other cloud service provider, now Amazon EC2, for instance, then there'd be no problem at all. It's just another CDB. Okay. Uh... Versions, yeah, we did versions already. Good. Okay. Um, so, uh, any other questions? Uh, please type them in if I missed. Um, here's a, a contribution uh, from Chris. Creating a PDB in the Oracle Cloud could work if you're using IaaS infrastructure as a service. That is correct. That is correct. I was thinking only of autonomous. Mm -hmm. I've been spending a lot of time thinking about recently, but that's correct. Yes, if you're using infrastructure as a service, then just as with Amazon EC2, you could certainly use this technique. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Good, good job, Chris. Yeah. Uh, unplug. Okay, here I'll read it to you as it's typed here. Unplug a refreshable PDB and replug later? Question mark. Um, can I ask the questioner to try it and let me know? That's a test I haven't done. No worries. I haven't tested. We'll see yet. Very good. All right. Good questions, folks. Good contributions. Thank you all for that. All right, uh, seems like we've tired them out, John. Uh, so uh, uh, thank you very much, John. Uh, as always, a great presentation. We learned a lot, I know I did. Uh, so folks, uh, if you uh, need some DBAs, uh, think about John and his uh, knowledge, I'm sure can help. Uh, so uh, call Skill Builders if you need some DBA services. Maybe we can just help you with a specific project and increase or schedule schedule your your deadlines a little a little tighter. So we really hope we can help you. Uh, also, we do some Apex work. So if you if you have some Apex development work that needs done, give us a call. And uh, by the way, we can train you as well. We do run classes believe it or not yes skill builders that's how we started so don't forget about us for training and mentoring very popular these days so thanks all thank you john uh, st stick around i'll i'll uh email you guys in a couple of weeks when we have this ready as a tutorial so you can view it online over and over again i think that's it thank you all have a great day